はいみちる様が毎日仕出しのお弁当では飽きるとおっしゃっていましたので僭越ながら Hello everyone and welcome back to more of the fruit of c r i s a i a In the last episode, if you'll remember, we、uh, got to have a rousing story about slavery, about a guy who, not us, this is basically just a story, you know, icebreaker. About a guy who thought he was、uh, spending his time with the lady of the night. Well, it turns out he accidentally bought her for, you know, like ever. And he was freaking out. But it turns out that she was really subservient. And we had many parallels to the way Imane is at this current time. So, she, you know, she, she doesn't argue. She, she is more than happy to do whatever she needs to make Yuji happy. So, we're wondering if, you know, if, if there's more. You know, is there, why is she doing this? What's in it for her? There's some, is she just doing it just out of the goodness of her heart? Or is there another reason? Well, we're going to find out right now. Maybe. Probably not. But we'll get closer to finding out if nothing else. Nanda! Itte could it ever what I see a meter no boom of scutanoni? Yayo! Tat Hanta no bento yasai bakarijanai! Atasua uniko got a bit I know! I need a meat! But vegetables are good for you! Nanda saigo ego de tandiska? Because it's funny! Do de mo e de soga! Exactly. Machiro does what she wants. Don't question it. Machiro, I really hope you're showing Sashi appropriate gratitude for this. <laughs> Whatever you say. I see. Is that just how Sundaris are as a species? <laughs> well, Makin has a point too. Okay, is it or is it not true? <laughs> Do me a favor and don't. I'm getting a headache already. So、yes, let's have our lunch, please. Seaweed soup? That just sounds disgusting. Yeah. Oh, I'm planning on, on recording a video for my YouTube channel. What are you doing? What's everyone else doing? Oh, nice. What? What? I was a little bit afraid of Amane. I think I'm a little bit afraid of my mother. What? 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 また犬の話<笑>それでは失礼いたします。何なの Don't worry about it. More importantly, I've gained a keen understanding of what gratitude means thanks to Machiru's negative example. Amane, thank you for everything you do. And I mean it, I really do. えあうん。どういたしましてよくわかってねえだろう。Mm. You don't need to get it. <sighs> Even gratitude can be annoying if you shove it in somebody's face. Much like any other form of charity, giving back to others is meaningless if you're motivated primarily by the desire to show off your own nobility. When I see a politician on television proudly wearing brightly colored flags and ribbons on his lapel, my first and only thought is look at that swaggering hypocrite. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm cynical by nature, but. I don't want to show my gratitude to Mani that way, not through some self satisfied display. I want to keep those feelings mostly to myself. The better to preserve them and keep them genuine. If the world calls this less effusive approach the mark of a Sundari, then I guess I'm a Sundari after all. I'll bear that mark of disgrace with pride. 
and I'll set an example by my way of life. One that will dispel the foul reputation of a few regrettable individuals have brought upon our misunderstood tribe. July 15th. 4.30. Kazami-kun, uh, well, I guess. What do you want? Yes, and what do you want me to do about it? Yeah, now that you mention it, I did notice a truck over there this afternoon. It must have been the one. So, I don't want to say that I can't get the truck to the truck. The truck is already gone, and the truck is gone, so I'm going to give you a job for Komine. Hmm, very well. I was looking forward to getting some new material in the library myself. I'll lend a hand. So, thank you. So, I'll get you to the hospital. You're welcome. Just need me to log them over here? Yes. If you can get them, then I'll get them to the hospital. Roger. Let's get started. Yeah, Roger, I'm talking to you. Get your ass over and help me. I'm pretty rare, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty rare for Sakaki to ask someone for help like this. And unexpected. Above all else, she's a proud woman, that much cannot be denied. And I'm sure I rank among the very last people she'd ever want to ask for help. And so when she swallows that pride and turns to me, I can't very well just shoot her down, how can I? On top of which, I also do want more books in the library. I can only read the Encyclopedia Britannica so many times. That said, I wasn't expecting quite this many. A mountain of sizable cardboard boxes are stacked up next to the dorm's front entrance. Assuming around 24 books per box and 16 boxes and all, I've got a good 384 volumes or so to carry over to the schoolhouse. I should have brought my dolly. Might have been a little too hasty in agreeing to that request. Well, nothing I can do about it now. I accepted the job, so I have to carry it out. To, to the end. In a situation like this, it's better to get moving before you start thinking too much. If you stand around too long in front of a task like this, it's easy to get paralyzed by your self-pity. This will never get done unless I finish it. Just to have chip away at the mountain. In short, it's something like mowing the maneuvering grounds. In which case, there's only one conclusion. Huh. A mere 16 round trips don't make me laugh. If you asked the thinking men and women of the world, they'd probably tell you mindless jobs are the most miserable of all. But I'm not one of those people. By nature, I am well suited to this sort of simple work. Huh? I'm lifting boxes, you want to help me? Hey, uh, Sakaki asked me to help get some new books over to the library. Oh, I couldn't ask. I mean, to, no, it was my, my job. You do what you're doing. What you're doing. No, that's all right. You were just heading out on some errand, right? Mm, well, then that's your job at the moment. I'll take care of this. You go on ahead. Oh. Hmm... Well, anything's fine, I guess. Whatever you are planning on making is fine. <sighs> really? I, I was trying to imply that anything you make is delicious. Oh, flattery will get me everywhere, my dear. That's how the world works these days. How oh, about all right? I'll play your game. Something a bit spicy, maybe, like curry. Karaimono? Do you do curry or mabo dofu? I'll leave the details to you. Just feel like something with a little bit of a kick to it. You know what I mean? Hmm. Nakata. So that's what. Nanika karaimono ne? Makin is getting it too, so keep the intensity reasonable. Wouldn't want her screaming all night. Hmm. Okay. So, it's a date. When asked, what do you feel like having for dinner? 
A man who answers anything's fine is undeniably negligent. But is it just me, or is the woman who demands an answer to that question being a bit unreasonable in her own right? Your average young man doesn't exactly have a sophisticated palate. Speak for yourself, man. They can tell the difference between salty, sweet, and spicy, but that's about it. In most cases, they'll find pretty much anything with a strong flavor delicious. Speaking of which, Amani's cooking seems to have been influenced by my restrained style of her mother's homeland. I can't deny that her subtly flavored dishes sometimes feel a bit lacking in an impact to me. Typical young man that I am. That would be the reason I decided to request something spicy, which necessarily demands heavier seasoning. It might be a somewhat risky request to make of some people, but in Amane's case, I'm sure she won't put anything out absurdly hot. It'll probably be reasonably spicy as a compliment to a rich overall flavor. I mean, now that I think about it, I've eaten Amani's cookie many times before, but I don't think she's ever served me anything I just could not finish. Probably the fruit of her ma's vaunted training regimen. I see. A well-trained big dog, eh? Sounds about right. Oh, you were listening. Oh, um, <clears throat> I talk to myself sometimes. Keeps me sane. <clears throat> My apologies, though. Did you find it creepy? Probably. <sighs> Duly noted. On a different note, can you cook sakiki? I'm just wondering. Curious, you know. Curious minds want to know. Uh, just out of curiosity, I guess. I am familiar with the microwave oven, my most used of appliances in the kitchen, if I must say so myself. Oh, but of course, the microwave oven is a sacred treasure. Drop from heaven by a benevolent god to save the single males of the world. Oh my, our Yumiko here is a expert chef of a Michelin restaurant, it seems. Oh, we were born in a good era, Sakiki. Ah, uh, indeed. Instant noodles are a tough dish to master. Here are the damn books. <sighs> right, right. To the books! Oh, come to think of it, in this microwave age of ours, domestic cooks like Amane might be a fairly rare subcategory of the female population. And against that contrast of insipid frozen food and instant TV dinners, warm hood main mills grab the male heart all the more firmly. As a matter of fact, my belated decision to accept Amani's profession of love had a lot to do with that. I like food. Cooking is something I mostly handled by myself, for myself. That's how it's been for a long time, and even back when I was living with my sister. Not to say that JB didn't pop in and whip up a meal every once in a while, but... Perhaps thanks to her crude, sloppy approach to cooking, I can't say the food ever really felt like a family meal. As for Mane, her evident experience in the kitchen is really striking. Her mother's lessons must have been strict and extensive indeed, and they must have started very young. Amani's approach to cooking is that of a self-assured housewife who spent many years putting food on the table every night. I still remember a little maxim Amane once shared with me. Every human being has to eat. If a woman can cook, she can marry anyone in any country and manage just fine for herself. Indeed, wise words at the time. I nodded in agreement. From that perspective, Amani is certainly a hell of a woman. You could hardly ask for more, in fact. Anyway, you look at it, the girl's definitely wasted on the likes of me. Unlike Sakaki, she can cook. Unlike Machio, she doesn't bark at random like a deranged chihuahua. Unlike Makina, she has a rich feminine body. And unlike Sashi, she doesn't bottle up her emotions inside. Did I hit the jackpot here? <laughs> Mata 
You shouldn't listen to other people's conversations. It's not very ladylike, Sakaki. But mind if I say just one thing? Dozo. You know, it couldn't hurt to try learning how to cook. So, yeah. But I can't do anything else. Why is that? Here's more books. Thank you. Very well. Unfortunately for you, Sakaki, my friend, I've spent a long time among women who can't cook, and every one of them has said the same thing. JB being the representative example. I do understand that a female's charm isn't defined by her skill in the kitchen, but when you get right down to it, the number one thing men want from the women in their life is warmth. Next on the conventional list would probably be nursing, followed by entertainment. In summary, men want hospitality from their partner. If a woman satisfies those needs, it can easily make up for severe shortcomings in some other respect, even physical attractiveness. Although Amane is pretty near a perfect score in that field as well. She's attentive to detail, skilled at cooking, and ridiculously sexy. Objectively speaking, pretty much a perfect choice for a relationship. Worthy of a round of applause, if I say so myself. But precisely because I think that way, it's hard to get my head around the idea that she'd fall in love with me, of all people. Hmm, they say that women tend to look for promise in their young men. But I hardly think I have anything of that sort. Quite the opposite. Every day brings with it a chance that I'll be rotting in the grave before evening. I'm a worthless stray dog of a human being. A wolf that dressed itself up as a sheep in its pathetic desperation for warmth. There's practically nothing about me to attract a woman like Amane. There is no reason why people fall in love. Or perhaps you could say the reasons are frequently impossible to express in words. I do understand that much. I do. But still. I can't help but think, why me? Why me? I suppose it's possible she noticed the stink of carry-on on my breath and mistook it for the titillating aroma of a wild man. But that's no different from the fleeting, shallow delusion of a middle school girl who gets a crush on the class delinquent. In that case, there's a chance that Mane will part from me on her own time, and end up looking back on this relationship with embarrassment. <sighs> but that's fine. You know, in the end, whatever Mane sees in me is a mirage. And little girls have to face reality eventually. What's wrong? No longer have the energy to make fun of me talking to myself, is that it? I do find myself somewhat of a poet. Think you'd buy a copy of my collected soliloquies? Fair enough. Sakaki, you say clever things sometimes, you know that? でしょ。いずれ、Skip the personal dedication. It just makes it harder to sell to the used bookstore. くだらないことを言ってる暇があったら、さっさと運ぶ! <sighs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Continuing my exceptionally self-centered and repetitive ruminations, I carry over the cardboard boxes one after another. And after finishing the physical labor, I stick around to help Sakaki shelve the books. It's somewhat tedious work, but we pass the time exchanging opinions on stuff we've read recently. Before I notice, it's already past 9pm. Oh, not your fault. Can't just leave the job and finish after all. <laughs> I like that. I appreciate the offer, but I've got. Ah. <sighs> Crap. I completely slipped my mind, but I promised to be at Amani's room for dinner at 7. Oh, man. She's gonna be so mad at me. I completely slipped. How did I forget? 
Ah, I'm late twice in, twice in a row for dinner. Hmm, that's not gonna bode well. Well, I'm a good two hours late. Don't you think she probably just went ahead and ate? But the food's gonna be long cold. This isn't good. No. I'd rather risk making things worse with some half-assed lie. I prefer to be honest from the start and apologize. Yeah, I'm the one in the wrong here. Can't be dishonest on top of it all. We don't want a relationship built on lies, do we? I'm more aware that I'm a clumsy man. No need to rub it in. Yeah, I guess Amane's become my girlfriend. Somehow or other. So. I know, I don't really know how it happened either. I'm sorry, I wasn't really trying to keep it a secret or anything, but I kind of wanted to avoid a big fuss, so I decided not to bring it up until somebody asked. Really? Well, I, I did figure you'd notice eventually, but the others? Not to put too fine a point on it, but they're more on the oblivious side of things. So, ne? Yeah, but that's part of her charm. You have a point. In her case, a preemptive announcement might prevent a lot more hassle down the road. Yeah, I'll do that. Will do. See you tomorrow. <sighs> Alright then. Guess I better head to Amane's room. Oh, I better prepare for a scolding. I bet I deserved it. I told her I'd be there at 7 and it's now a solid quarter past 9. I'm a full 2 hours and 15 minutes late. Amane may not be the type to bark for no reason, but this surely warrants a good yapping. I enter her room fully prepared for such an eventuality, but the outcome is surprisingly painless. Uh, it's not like I particularly wanted her to get angry at me, but this completely nonchalant attitude is almost creepy. お風呂にするなら急いだ方がいいよ。あんまり遅くなると、さっちゃんが大浴場のお湯を抜いちゃうから。Right. You know, I almost want conflict with her. If she's just gonna be all nonchalant about everything, then... I guess you could say it gets boring. I mean, no one likes to fight in a relationship. No one likes to fight, but... You know, it's, 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 it's the fights that show that everything isn't, you know... This isn't, you know, some sitcom where everything's all lovey-dovey and perfect. It's the arguing and the fighting that shows that you disagree and that you need to vent your frustrations. If there's no fighting, then it, it's boring. A relationship will be ultimately be boring. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Amane? Hmm? What? I said I'd be here at 7. I showed up well past 9. I didn't even get in touch. I mean, aren't you angry? I mean, even the slightest? Teeny tiny bit angry? Little bit? Hmm? 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 Yeah, that's right. 
And not that it's her fault. She just asked me to carry over those boxes, and I finished that by six. I decided to stay and help her put the books away on my own initiative. <sighs> if you're gonna mock me, then don't even bother. Seriously annoying. I'll keep that in mind. I don't know what that is, but it sounds spicy. Huh. Well, let's see here. Mane places the spicy tofu and rice dish in question on the table, along with a side of Chinese egg soup. At a glance, it seems a perfectly normal maple bowl, but closer examination reveals the standard minced pork has indeed been replaced with finely ground beans. Vividly pale buds of garlic create a nice visual contrast, stirring my appetite. I push my Chinese spoon under the maple bowl, scoop out a large hunk of rice covered in the thick bean paste, and take a bite. A rich flavor instantly fills my mouth. A moderately sharp, spicy tang provides a nice accent. Nice work! This is really good! <sighs> you really can make anything delicious, can't you? You tried to bet yourself, didn't you? Then take another bite and see for yourself. Come on, open wide. Look, I'm telling you to give me an on. Uh, open that mouth. See, delicious, isn't it? You should really have a little more confidence in your culinary skills, Amani. So, so kinda. Now, if you're really that suspicious, try feeding me something disgusting as an experiment. I'll tell you exactly how crappy it is. So na koto deki na yo. Yorokon de morau tame ni tsukutteru n dakara. I really truly do. I like the way you kept the spiciness moderate, for one thing. Did you see season this with Makina's tastes in mind? Come to think of it, wait, where is Makina? Uh, tune a fish man, no doubt. The riveting season finale is on. Alright, that one with the lunatic professor who's always getting mauled by wild animals. Oh yeah, that one too. That one was funny. Season finale! Come to think of it, when I passed by the lounge on the way to my room, I remember catching a glimpse of a frenzied machina gnawing on Machiru's head, although I pretended not to notice. You know, I'd bet money Machiru just happened to be passing by when a television adult grizzly bear went looking for prey. Carl's got no luck, does she? Hmm? Oh, nothing of any value, I assure you. Don't worry about it. So? Having thoroughly enjoyed Amane's considerate hospitality, I head back to my own room in order to take a bath. And so I've returned to my room, but... <laughs> Don't eh 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 me. Why'd you follow me? That's <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to go, no, thank you. <laughs> Don't have me either. What are you thinking? Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what kind of scolding would be appropriate here. I've come to realize something all too clearly recently. Imani's basically happiest when she's taking care of a man. The more hopeless and childish that man is, the more she enjoys herself. In other words, she's the sort of woman who tends to actively encourage the men in her life to become worthless. Play along, and one day I'll end up incapable of scrubbing my own back. Hmm. Perhaps I should draw a clear line in the sand here? You can wait around all you want. 
But I'm not going to take a bath. I'm gonna read a book. Well, no, I don't mind if you're here, but it's not like there's anything for you to do. I mean, I mean, I've got some coloring books if you really want them. I don't know. That effect? There may be a number of strings attached, but Amani's my girlfriend. That being the case, if she wants to stay with me, I'm not going to kick her out. But to be honest, I'm still uncertain about this woman in many respects. About her motives, about the depth of her feelings towards me. And by coming in close contact with me on a daily basis, Amani will come to understand exactly how dull a human being I am. One day, she'll probably part from me of her own accord. I throw myself down on the bed and begin to read. Alright everybody, with that, I'm going to end the video off here, and I will see you all in the next episode of The Fruit of Cressaia. Take it easy.